Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm just getting ready to settle in. I'm gonna, I have a free afternoon and I just wanna kinda hang out in my craft room and just kinda make some things just for the sake of making them for fun. Um, I have a couple of podcasts I haven't had a chance to listen to yet. Pam from The Paper Outpost, who I love. She's on twice a week. She does a podcast Tuesdays and Thursdays. And so I save them up so I can listen to them while I'm in the craft room. And then also Handmade and Beyond, which I really like. It's a it's an Etsy shop podcast. It's really it's like a 20 minute long podcast. And he uh, he just gives you like some interesting tips on running an Etsy shop and things like that. So I'm looking forward to listening to those things and just kind of spending time with my papers in the craft room. I've been kind of busy you know, updating my Etsy shop and everything else. And I feel like I'm I'm kind of in a good place there. So I wanted to just kind of have some fun um, creating with my papers. Pam and the Paper Outpost, the, the podcast I listen to, she talks about uh, having things on hand or at the ready, you know, like cluster embellishments and different things so that you could add them to a future journal. And that's something that I don't tend to do and I want to do more of. Uh, a lot of times I'll make a journal and then I'll just quickly try to make everything all at the same time and put it in the journal. And I kind of feel like it's better to kind of take time with that and, and maybe make some things with using different colors of papers, different types of embellishments, different textures, that kind of thing, and then have them and don't have a purpose for them yet because eventually they will have a purpose uh, once you start making a journal or something like that. So that's kind of my what I want to be doing. It's just um, just kind of having fun with my my papers right now. I have I have a lot of paper that I need to use up, so I I want to kind of get in and, and start doing some things. So I thought today I would I've got a couple things I could show you. Um, I've got some organizational things that uh, are really fun that I wanted to show, and then also just kind of some of these little small projects I've been working on too. So let me go ahead and start with let me do the organization stuff um, over here. I just picked up this new, these two new shelves from Amazon, actually. Um, and I had always wanted to have some kind of a shelf at the end of my card making desk. I felt like I had a, I had this, let me show you this over here. I had originally had this little metal uh, shelf or metal, I don't know what you would call it, sort of like a basket tiered baskets that I kept some stamping supplies that I haven't that I've been wanting to use like newer stamps and so I had that on on the other end there and I, I felt like I could use the space a little bit better but the problem was the doorway to my craft room I, I wanted there to be enough room for somebody to walk through and and not kind of bump into things because I always I want to have a clear path in my craft space and not have it so filled up with things that you can't move so I, it just had been kind of on my mind to try to find something if I could that was narrow enough to kind of fit in this space. So I just kind of typed in sh small shelf, small white shelf, and this actually popped up. And I love these shelves because they kind of have this lattice uh, design here on the side. It's kind of like a garden theme. And I kind of, I, I was like working with florals and bright colors and things. And so I, I guess that's kind of what you could consider my craft room to be kind of a garden themed craft room in a way, um, even though it's kind of a mishmash of different, <laughs> I have a lot of different types of uh, organization systems. I don't really have one big type of thing. I have some Alex drawers and that kind of thing, but um, the main theme is I have a lot of white, white storage containers and furniture and that kind of thing. But um but it's sort of like a little mishmash. So, but it kind of all, I think, turns into the theme of kind of garden or, you know, kind of like a fresh, bright look. So anyway, um, I thought these shelves were perfect. And I ended up picking up two of them because I wanted a space for just either to store some of my, I have some vintage uh, books for my junk journaling or just some more of my kind of vintage supplies. Um, just to kind of spread things out a little bit because I just have I have a small shelf or I have a couple shelves on my uh, metal shelving units that I keep this stuff but it kind of gets crowded and I want to be able to see what I have so I thought I'd kind of spread out a few things on here also uh, add my washi tape to it too because I had my washi tape over here on my scrapbook desk 
and I wanted to make some more room to kind of spread out the, some of my beading supplies. So I've got that table just having beads now. And then over here, I've got my washi tape and then some other of my kind of vintage -y type things. And this may change. Um, I'm kind of using this as sort of decor, I guess. I love these metal recipe boxes. I've been kind of if I see one I really like that just has the perfect colors, I'll pick it up. And so far I've just have, have three of them. And um, I think that's enough for now, but uh, I just thought they look really nice in my craft room and I keep old recipe cards inside of them. So, you know, things that I find while I'm thrifting or things that I pick up on Etsy that I add to junk journals for you know journaling cards and that kind of thing so I, I store them in here now and then it's kind of nice it's like a nice little display it's a, they're such happy colors I like them and um so I have that on that shelf but that may change you know I, I might get sick of having that and I might want to have something else so we'll see uh but then I have uh some of my washi tape or actually this is this is all my washi tape here I've got this Michaels container right here that I really like that's clear and I've got uh, most of my washi in here and then I have some stuff that I picked up from I think this is from 49th and Market and then over here I've got just this container that's got some kind of random washi rolls in it this was a floral set I got so I have to find some way to label this but I haven't kind of gotten around to it yet these are more florals and then the top here are just some like fun, uh, whoops, I think fell out here. These are some really cute um, food themed washi tape that I got from Kitty Weedy Paper Craft. Um, so these are fun. And then I think this is one too. I think this was, one is from Kitty Weedy Paper Craft, but I know this one is for sure. Uh, and then just some other washi tape rolls um, that are kind of floral themed. So I, I have to kind of get some sort of an organization with that going with maybe a label or something. But so I've got all that in one spot. So that's nice. And then I've got some Maggie Holmes washi tape here. And this is my Tim Holtz cloth washi tape, which I love cloth washi tape. And then on the bottom, I was kind of running out of room with my, I love to collect vintage stationery. So I added these boxes from, or they're like little plastic bins from the Dollar Tree. And I added two of these at the bottom and I just have a lot of my uh, fun vintage stationery in here. And I use a lot of these for my junk journals and I just love all the pretty colors and the flowers and everything on them. So I have those in that container. And then over here I've got, these are all of my greeting cards that I found in, on thrifting trips and things so I may need to put some of these in my shop because <laughs> I have so many of them but I love um I've been lucky enough recently just to find a ton of them uh, when I go out and and look so um these are these are great because I just love the colors I do want to do a project I was thinking uh, today it would be fun to do a project kind of inspired by these vintage greeting cards so make a card with kind of more modern stamps, but inspired with the colors from the greeting cards. Um, so maybe that'll be a whole series or something. I'm kind of considering that. I know they make some stamps now where the, the sentiments, the fonts and the sentiments kind of mimic fonts from old greeting cards. So I might pull some of those and kind of mix those in with um, kind of the color, the colors of these vintage cards and kind of see see what I can come up with. So it might be kind of fun to try that as a project. So that's everything on this shelf, but I just love the way this turned out. Um, I just think the lattice design is so pretty with this. And I'll, I've talked about this before when I, with, with organization systems in a craft room. For me, I prefer to have something that I can use for something else. So like, say for instance, if I have a set of drawers that I maybe don't need anymore in my craft room, I want to be able to use those someplace else in my house. So it's not just specifically for craft things. And most, even I think a lot of craft furniture can be doubled as something else too. So, um, but that's always just something to think about. So like these shelves, I mean, you could put those anywhere. You could put them in a closet, um, in a kid's room, something like that. And it would still, it would look really cute anywhere you put it. But 
Um, I just, I couldn't resist this lattice pattern. I just thought that was so pretty. So, um, so since I'm storing on my washi tape here, I was able to make some more room over on this table here on this set of shelves. And I've talked about this table so many times, but uh, this is my scrapbook table and my kind of my big project table. So I'll make my journals over here. But I, it's, it was originally a table for a small apartment. So it's supposed to be kind of a pub table where you sit up high and you can fit a couple chairs underneath. And um, I think you're supposed to put your glassware or maybe some dishes or something over on this shelf. But I thought it worked perfectly as an extra little table in my craft room. So it ended up, it's kind of morphed into different things, but it's mainly ended up being a place where I put my beading supplies. And plus just the the way the beads look and everything always makes my, gives my craft room kind of a little bit of color. So I originally had this shelf kind of mainly for my beads and I had uh, these tip out drawers, which I love. I keep my big bubble gum beads in those. I ended up grabbing another set. I had two sets of the tip out bins and then I ended up grabbing another set because I moved all my washi tape. And so I added that there with some more beads. And these are just my jars from Dollar or no, these were from Hobby Lobby. I think they sold these at Dollar Tree too. But I had these jars, which I put some cute, uh, some more bubble gum beads in. And then on the bottom, I just had a little bit more room to store some charms. And then I also got, I picked these up from Dollar Tree. Uh, they're just little mini plastic drawers. And they actually, I don't think, I don't have anything in them right now, but I am going to, I had some stuff stored away that I think I'm going to put in these drawers, just some findings maybe, or some smaller beads. And I think I'm going to add those to these drawers. And I think that'll look really good. So, um, so I like the way that looks. So I've been kind of working on that kind of stuff. Um, everything else has kind of stayed the same with my, my organizing. But let me show you what else I've been working on. So, well, we'll, I'll go back to my other desk, but I'll show you this. So I've got a lot of stuff I've been kind of, I need to put away. This was uh, the most recent paper tabby uh, kit, monthly kit, and it's a rose theme. It's really pretty. And I've used, I'll show you in a second, some of the cluster embellishments I made. But... Um, I've been, I'm kind of, I always sort this stuff out and then I put it away and it's the little sections I, I have uh, in my craft room, but this really pretty stationery came with it and I love these roses. So I want to try to find something to do with this. I, I'm putting together a couple of personal journals and I want to maybe try to use this in a collage or something like that. So that's why I kind of have it out. Um, but these are some of the other papers that came with it. It was kind of like a color coordinated kit. So it's lots of pinks and reds and uh, Valentine's Day theme. You got these cards with it too. The roses are just so pretty. So I'm going to put these away. And then I recently went thrifting and I found these napkins. And I don't know if any of you have ever worked with napkins before with junk journals, but you can use them for different things like collage. You could even use them as a very thin sort of page divider or something like that. But I thought these were really pretty. This is, um, it doesn't have like a brand or anything on it, but they're really thin. Um, this is just, in fact, I don't even know if this is actually a napkin. I think it's supposed to, I think it's like a doily. So I think you can decorate, you know, a table or something or just or protect a table with it. I don't think you really use it as a napkin, but it's really, really thin, almost like onion skin in a way. But I love the, the picture uh, that's on the top of it and also the color scheme, the blue and the purple and the red. Um, and you, I got a ton of them in here. So I am going to use them for collage, I think, because I've been kind of I've been just loving working on collage projects. So. I'm going to be trying out some of my, uh, some of the napkins for that. And then I found these napkins that I thought were really, really pretty. These are actually napkins. The yellow is just really pretty for spring. I think there's two different, actually, or I don't know. I think it's all the same design, but how pretty is that? And they're folded in fourths. So 
And they've got the really pretty orange butterflies, so you can probably do the stitching down the middle and use that. They are folded in half, but I think if you kind of, if I flatten them out for a while, they'll kind of flatten out and and um, be okay. But but I thought these were fun. I just want to kind of try some things with these too and probably do some collage as well. And then I was doing, I had shown this a while back. I had done a master board with some collage with these really cute papers from one of my other paper tabby kits um, that had kind of a sewing theme. And I ended up cutting the master board up and I was going to use it for the most recent journal I made. Uh, but I ended up not using it because I think the it ended up being too stiff and kind of wrinkled on the back. I was thinking this would be like a journaling page, but it was if I tried to put it in the journal, it was almost too stiff. So I, I actually might turn these into cards. But I wanted to try, I, I've seen people after they collage kind of do a, a sort of a varnish over the top of it, either using like a matte medium or a gloss medium. And I wanted to see the difference between using matte and gloss. I'm kind of was trying to learn all the terms with the, the mixed media glues and that kind of thing. So I ended up, let me show you. I've got, uh, I've had this matte medium for a while, which I, I like to use in collage. It's a nice, um, it doesn't have a lot of gloss to it, um, but it's a really nice adhesive and it's kind of thin and it, you could, it works really well on top of collage. So I had used it just on regular collage, but then I wanted to use it over the top to kind of see what it would look like. And so I tried it on this piece and it's hard to see kind of on camera, but it's, it is matte and I do like it because it kind of smooths all the edges down so that you don't have a lot of things that can kind of fold up or, or catch on anything. So it kind of gets, gives everything a uniform appearance. So I do like this. I think this would be good for, you know, finish. If you want to turn this into journal cards or something like, or a tag, it'd be nice for finishing it off. Um, without, you can't really tell that you used anything other than it just kind of smooths all the edges. It did kind of smear some of the ink on this a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, then I wanted to try gloss medium because I thought that would give an interesting look maybe to collage, like give it a little more, um, not glimmer, but I don't know, just something different. I didn't actually like the way it looked. It almost looks plasticky. So, and I am not a collage expert. So I was just kind of learning things online as I went. I sort of did a little YouTube research um, on the difference between the two. I think this was a little too glossy for what I wanted it to be used for. Although I think, you know, if you're going to use a lot of paints and other things, I think this would be a nice addition with, with the shine, but I don't probably plan on using that too much. So um, I don't think the shininess is for me, but um, I thought I'd try it and just kind of see what, you know, that's the only, only way you're going to know about doing something is to try it and um, kind of make mistakes along the way. So I think I can still salvage this and um, this probably, I can probably find something to do with too. So, so that's kind of what I've been doing over here. I've been working, I'll show you in a second, this, I have a couple of journals that I ordered that I want to, I talked about, you know, how I've been enjoying collage and I've just kind of wanted to just have some fun with all the papers that I have. And I've been seeing a lot of people just kind of doing some fun collage and having entire glue books filled with collage and working with this paper. This is from Hobby Lobby Paper Studio. And this is really pretty. I've used this for a lot of things. Um, but I've been really into the, some of the the creators I've seen online. I've been really into kind of the vintage sort of French uh, French style collage where it's sort of the white backgrounds with a lot of florals. Um, not a real grungy look, but kind of a um, like a crisp look, but it still has kind of that vintage look. So pretty much like, like this kind of... Um, so I wanted to put together just a few journals just for myself to kind of try some things in. And I had had a junk journal that I was working with, um, but I wanted to start from scratch, like have a totally white page and just kind of do my own thing on it. So um, I had ended up, I've got this journal. This is kind of a bigger one. I thought this was, this cover was really cute. I wanted to try to, this is a, 
just a plain blank journal with um, white pages. And the, the pages are pretty thick, so I thought this would be fun to do um, some larger collage and kind of gluing some, maybe some of my 60s style ephemera, 50s and 60s vintage style ephemera. So something like this, like so make a make collage pages with this and and basically just kind of use it use this journal for putting colors together and kind of seeing what I like. Um, I want to try my color cubes with it too uh, to kind of get some color ideas and kind of get some inspiration that way too. So um, that'll be uh, I thought that would be kind of fun too just to, to have some fun doing that. So that's this journal here and then let me show you but this is uh the journal that i'm going to be working on that i want to create kind of that kind of french style shabby chic looking collage with and i've got uh i've had these pieces for a while this is from 49th and market and i this is like the kind, kind of style i like so i thought it'd be fun to mix these in with some i've got a ton of other ephemera pieces um, I found this journal online. It's the brand is called um, Denik, and they're really inexpensive journals, but they're really pretty. The cover covers are really pretty. The sketchbook one I showed uh, a minute ago that is from Denik as well. Um, but this one, I just like the cover because it's kind of got that toile look to it, and I thought it would be fun to um, put kind of some shabby chic style collage in and to get started I was kind of covering the insides with um some of just some of my fun scrapbook paper um this is that Hobby Lobby paper pad I've got to finish the other side too but this is kind of gonna you know give the theme of the the journal and then um I'm just gonna kind of create stuff in here um just to kind of play and and just have fun with I, my uh, have been also making little clusters too. I had uh, my paper tabby kit that had all these little pieces that went together really well. And I've been wanting to organize this. This is one of those Heidi Swap memory dexes. And I've had this for probably about two years. My plan had been to create uh, tons of cluster embellishments, make them ahead of time, and then keep them on this little uh, Rolodex thing and, you know, pull them off when I need them to, to when they're creating journals and that kind of thing. But I never had did that because I got so into making the journals. Um, I didn't, you know, think to make, uh, if, I, if I wanted to make some ephemera, I made it right there and then put it in the journal. So I want to kind of take more time to make things ahead of time, make envelopes and pocket pages and pockets and um, all kinds of decorative things that I can use my, my papers and ephemera with and um, have them on hand ahead of time so that when I go to make a journal, I'll have a lot of extra pieces to work with and I don't have to think of everything right when I'm making the journal. So this is kind of the start of that. So I ended up taking, I have these really cute index cards. They're kind of thin, but um, I like the colors. They were uh, pink and yellow and blue. Um, so I'm using them as to, to kind of attach the little cluster embellishments too, but I made, I showed this on Instagram, um, but I made a few. I just, I took like, I mean, maybe 15 minutes and I was able to kind of put a bunch of little clusters together. This one um, was, again, part of the paper tabby kit. I added a couple of, um, I'm trying to think, oh, no, this is all from the kit. There's some things that I added, some extras that I had in my collection, too. But this is just some die cuts and some little uh, resin roses. And then I just attach it with a paper clip here. Um, this, again... It's all the same color scheme. It was the, the rose theme. Uh, rose was the theme for this month. So um, it just had some cute ribbon and, and different things. And I just added some pearls to this one. This one was just another kind of layered papers, some vintage papers. And then let's see if I had another one. I think that's it. Oh yeah, that was it. Um, and then I added, these are from Heidi Swap too, these little calendar indexes. I don't know what I'll use these for, but I probably maybe I'll um, make seasonal clusters and kind of put them in between the months. But I don't know. I'm glad I got started on that because I, I wanted to kind of have start making some things ahead of time. 
Um, cause I get down to making a journal and sometimes I'm, I'm rushing to kind of come up with ideas on pockets and things like that. And it'd be nice to have something I can reach for, um, that I already made and, um, kind of in included in a journal. So that's pretty much everything I've been working on. I'm kind of just taking some time to just kind of enjoy the craft room and, um, just kind of play. I mean, I think sometimes that's what you need to do too, if you, you're having, um, you know, if you're, if you're looking to kind of perk up your creativity a little bit, it's good just to kind of play and, and get to know your papers again. I mean, I've been wanting to use some of this Maggie Holmes stuff. Um, this is from Round Trip. And I thought this would be great to kind of mix in and do some collage with in this particular journal. So I'll probably, I'll show some of this um, in my next videos um, and on Instagram just kind of what I've been working on here, but you know, I don't even know if I'll end up doing anything with it. It just might be for fun just to kind of have this to look at. I do. Um, I think I may do uh, one project that I'll, I will show when I actually get the supplies in. I've got some of these little dictionary uh, cards that I ordered from, I think it's called Taper, Taperology and they looked really fun. So I thought they would be fun to use with collage and kind of make the collage theme around the word from the dictionary, kind of pick a dictionary word and, and that can kind of help um, get creativity flowing too. So um, I'm gonna try that, but I'll talk more about that once I kind of I get the stuff and um, I kind of work on it. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I've been working on right now. I still have some journals available in the shop and I'm, going to be I'm trying to think of what's coming up next I'll probably be working on some more ephemera packs um I think I sold out of the last two that I had so I might put together some more ephemera items uh and then I think I'm just gonna start just be working on like some little extras and and things like that so um, I hope you end up doing something fun and crafty this weekend and um I'm gonna get going, listen to my podcasts and start creating. So thanks again for joining me today and I'll see you in my next video.